Alpha Nest, traffic over three hotel, turning final, two six, Santa Nets. Oh, Kiza. Talk about a peaceful airport. Kiza being the identifier Kilo India Zulu Alpha. So a month after I received my private pilot certificate, we rented a 172 to go on the longest flight ever at this point. A whopping 130 nautical miles, which to me as a newly minted private pilot felt like the other side of the country. And we visited the beautifully scenic Santa Inez Airport. If there was an airport that pushed me into plane ownership, it was this one. Kind of weird, right? The reason was because I remember our rental time window was closing. And it's then that I realized I wanted to be able to go anywhere at any time without ever having to worry about the clock. Quick side note, you might notice my voice sounds a bit different. I'm just getting over a cold, but we've been going 40 weeks strong and I didn't want to break our streak just yet. So forgive my voice, especially since this is by far one of our favorite airports. The origin of Santinez Airport is not because of a war, but because of a couple of guys wanting to buy 155 acres of land to simply start a flying club in 1946, which is one of my favorite stories of how an airport came to be. It is a non-towered airport with one runway, 0826 at 2,803 by 75 feet. And even though during the approach, it can definitely seem short, just fly your POH speeds and it's plenty of length. It is located in a valley just north of Santa Barbara, which means that there definitely can be cloudy days. But the mountains to the south do hold much of the marine layer. But if you find yourself trying to get down through the clouds, there are some instrument approaches. Unfortunately, there is no cafe, but I think it's because if you use one of the two crew cars that they have available, you are literally a five minute drive to so many amazingly delicious food options. And that's even before talking about all the baked goods in the city of Solvang, which you cannot fly in and not go to Solvang. Now, as I said, there are only two crew cars. So on the weekends, they might not be available. Right here is hit or miss. Trust me, we've tried. It was expensive and definitely had to wait around. Last option is renting if you are spending the night or all day, but they are only open Monday through Friday, so call ahead. There is a self-serve fuel island and right behind it is the FEO with an extremely friendly staff. Now. If you're lucky, you will meet the best airport manager ever, Bodhi. He is very friendly, loves attention, and is very hairy. But he pulls it off really well. Maybe it has something to do with him being a golden retriever. Who knows? But if you see him, make sure to say hi. One more note on the FBO. It is not a 24-hour pilot's lounge. So if you come after hours and need to use the restroom, they always have a porta potty outside. The air traffic varies as there are not only small planes, but also private jets, gliders, and is a staging ground for Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department helicopters. Now, yes, it can get a little busy, but we've never seen any more than one or two in the pattern, so it's pretty calm. Parking is plentiful and all the spots have tie down chains. So in summary, the mountain holds off most of the marine layer. Easy to spot the self-serve fuel island. Two crew cars are available, first come, first serve. And it has the best airport manager ever. Now there is a noise abatement procedure, which there's a huge sign as you can see. Turn left, 210 until 1700 feet. But the important part is what is harder to see, when safety permits. Never let any of these procedures get in the way of flying safely. And I waited until the departure end to start my turn just to make sure I had some altitude. Santinez Airport is a personal favorite and it's one of my wife's top three airports. And for good reason. It's beautiful and peaceful. And if you haven't visited, it's definitely worth it.
As always, can't thank you all enough for all your questions and comments, especially when you share your own history at some of these spectacular airports. We love your stories, so thank you for sharing. We'll see you all next week. And as always, until then, go fly, go discover.